You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we go. Another meeting, perhaps third and final, between the two highest profile strawweights on the roster. You want to get Jacek and Rose Nami Yunus. We'll see if Poland's Ian Jacek can break through in the series tonight. You know, J.A., this weight class, who so many consider the best one in all of female fighting, was built by these two women. By Joanna Young Jacek and all of her title defenses and her becoming the boogie woman. To Rose Namajunas coming and upsetting the apple cart. Beating Rose Namajunas not once, but twice. It's a great matchup between two very skilled fighters. And I can't wait to watch these two compete against each other again. All right, so the more time, the water. Joanna Young Jacek off to a pretty good start here tonight with her hands, DC. She's got great hands. She's so fast and she's so tall that she throws her punches in combination. But don't be surprised if behind this beautiful jab in this one-two that Joanna throws, you don't get caught with a leg kick on the way out. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Young Jacek. Never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? Beautiful hands on display. Another punch man. Well, she's come out swinging early as expected. Truly an elite striker and a very aggressive one at that. Very aggressive, but don't think because she's aggressive, she puts herself out of position. She's very sharp in everything that she throws. So 37 total strikes have now landed for Rose Namajunas. Well, she continues to land to the body, attacking those organs, right? Not a lot of protection there, and you're seeing some visible damage now on the other side. Visible damage. She's done a tremendous job understanding and recognizing where the weakness was, and she has exploited that, and she's going to continue as she tries to get her hand raised. Back and forth we go. Oh, big knee. 90 seconds to go in the round. Punch over the top. Well, masterful job by her defensively yet again. You're not winning all the time when you're playing defense, but a nice job to raise the hands. Though. She keeps her hands up, keeps her chin down. Her opponent is not getting through with any of her head shots. Her opponent's her beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nice level team. Oh, my body shot's nasty. Back and forth we go. Oh! Final second to round one. You know, Jack Jack's nose is bleeding now. Oh, so the round is over. just before the final horn. So she goes back to the stool now. We'll see the extent to which she can recover. As many of you know, 60 seconds, not a lot of time. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser. She survives and gets the fight. All right, five minutes down. Here we go with the start of round two. Rose Namajunas. And of course, the great Yolanda Young Jacek. Trademark inside leg kick there by Yeon Jacek. Nice right hand there from Joanna Yeon Jacek. She's got that look in her eye tonight. That'll scare a lot of men, never mind women. I mean, the boogie woman, right? Does she call you. herself the boogie woman? She's the boogie woman that's coming for you. And you see that she's back. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rock pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find a kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to find that one shot that would have been the fight. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage this way. These two women have both fought so valiantly.
she blocked that punch. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and rage. All right, so she attacks the body yet again. And she threw her entire body. in the action here, and yes, will call on the doctor. Her eye is essentially swollen shut at this point. It's closed. She cannot see. She cannot find her opponent. How do you fight when you can't see out of one eye? Doctor pulls the referee aside. And look, continue for now. It's going to be right now, but she has got to get going. She will not have much time in this fight because it's only going to get worse. Ready fight. Ready. Well, she hasn't gotten the finish yet, but it's not for a lack of effort. Several huge uppercuts have landed, and prevailing wisdom is she goes right back to it here, I think. She has to go back to that. Why would she not go back to it? You don't fix something that's working. It ain't broken. Don't try to fix it. She is a master of landing uppercuts. Yeon Jaichek's eye is officially swollen shut. The referee keeping a close eye on things. Maybe he'll call for the ringside position, but that condition is only going to get worse as this fight continues.